Hello, I'm Miss Rutte and I'm here to show you um, food tests. So we've got a selection of foods. We've got bread, sweets, egg and olive oil. So we've got starch, sugar, protein and fats. We've got a range of different test tubes. We've got chemicals to test for the presence of a specific substance. So we've got um, Benedict solution, Burex solution, iodine, and ethanol. So the first one that we go into food test we're going to do is testing for starch. So we test for starch in bread and we use iodine. So if starch is present when it's added to the food, it should turn black. And you can see there that the breadstick has turned black. And that's a positive result for starch. The next, that we'll, the next one we're going to do is a test for sugars. And how are we going to do that? We've got some sweets. We're going to use a test tube. We're going to place the sweet in the test tube. We're going to use Benedict solution, which is blue. We're going to add that to the test tube. So we just want to cover the sweet. And a positive test for the presence of sugar is that the Benedict solution will turn brick red in heat. So we need to change our flame to a blue flame so it's nice and hot and hold it away from yourself and place it in the flame. If sugar is present then the solution should change brick red. It's quite hot very fast. Ideally, it should be done in a water bath because you can see it becomes quite vigorous. And I'm just waving it into the heat and then taking it out. But you can see the colour change there. Red. and that's a positive test for sugar we've got a brick red solution there at the bottom of the test tube without touching it I put it back in its test tube holder change my Brunson burner back to the safety flame because I'm not going to use it so our third test is testing for the presence of protein so we're going to use egg for that test so I'm going to take another test tube, take some egg, place it in the test tube, place it right to the bottom and we're going to use a solution called Burex solution and that will go into the test tube as well. Again we are looking for a colour change and a positive test for protein is that the burex solution will change to a purple colour in the presence of protein. So I'm going to add it to the burex solution and the egg and we're looking for a colour change. So a positive indication that protein is present is that it will change to a purple colour. Again ideally if, when you're doing this in class you will use a, bowl, a water bath because these chemicals are quite volatile and you can see in my bosom burner it looks mm. quite aggressive and you can see that colour change happening now so you can see a purple colour and that's a positive test for the presence of protein Put the bun spinner back on its safety flame. This is our last food test and we're testing for the presence of fats. 
And now we do that, we take a clean test tube and I pipette. I'm going to pipette up some of the olive oil to the fat. And we're going to use our last chemical, which is ethanol. A positive result for fats is that we get an emulsion formed. So we need to look out for the emulsion. And there you can see the emulsion has been formed and that's a positive test for fats.